so many friends there that they have sent me messages um, saying we're praying, we're believing, we, we just know that he's going to be found, and um, they, they knew. But tonight there are still so many questions, like how did the teenager get hundreds of miles away? Bobby McSwine has tonight's update. People here at Dixie Valley Church of God tell me they're blessed to know that 14 year old Carrie Brooks is soon going to walk through those doors and put a smile on their face as he always does. We are all just praising God today. This huge weight was lifted off my shoulders knowing he was okay. Shively police say Brooks was found safe in Austin, Texas around midnight on Monday after being missing for eight days. Investigators have not released any specific information about his disappearance. Laura Netherton has known Carrie for years, and though she doesn't know what to say when she sees him again, sometimes there's not words. She knows what she'll do. I just want to hold him. And tell him I love him. I love you, Laura. You don't know Carrie if you don't love Carrie. Like, Hannah Hamilton you know has been Brooks' youth pastor for two years, and she says his spirit is like no other, always picking up presents for others in the church. He was always thinking of how he could make others happy. Both women say prayer and faith have gotten them and the rest of the community through this difficult time. And as excited as they are that Brooks is home. What happened? What's in Texas? How did you get to Texas? Where has he been for eight days? Did somebody take him? Their questions police say they can't answer at this time. In a statement, Austin police say a suspect is in custody and they're still in the early stages of the investigation. And because it's a multi-agency investigation, they will not be able to release any information right now. It's hard to understand. They hope for the best, but are prepared to support and uplift him no matter what. In Louisville, Bobby McSwine, WHAS 11 on your side.